Drew. Mm -hmm. um, what did you guys think of Isaiah Joe? He hadn't played in five games and comes out there and plays like that. What did you all think of his performance? Uh, I mean, he's an incredible player, incredible shooter. I mean, we found out he was playing kind of late, but we still knew who he is and who he was, and he showed us who he was and who he still is. I mean, he's a great player. We just got to do a better job with running him off the line and trying to get him to finish at the rim. And rebounds in the first half, and then I think the second half it was it was closer. Did Arkansas do anything differently on the boards in the second half that you saw? Uh, no, sir. I feel like we just didn't execute on the boards. We didn't box out here, our guys, and we let too many get away from us. You it was you all scored twenty four points in like the first ten minutes, and then uh, scoring kind of tailed off a little bit. It was harder to get into the lane. What what if anything did Arkansas do differently from a defensive standpoint? Um, I thought they did a good job of having guys kind of waiting for us in the paint. Um, as we were getting downhill, they did a good job of kind of sneaking in and making us kicking it, and then running off the running guys off the line at the same time. So I thought they they had a solid game plan defensively. Um, for any of you guys, uh, obviously they hit three straight threes at the end of the game. I mean, what do you guys kind of do differently? I guess defensively, you just tip your hat to them. Uh, we just got to do a better job running them off the line. I mean, we can't let the crowd and the threes get to us. I feel like they hit threes and the crowd got into the game and it got got into us. I feel like we just got to keep keep playing basketball and try our best to keep completing our assignments defensively. I think for Drew, um, you know, Sills for them, didn't, he's averaged about nine points. He, he didn't score the last game, and I guess he had a couple of threes or something like that. Uh, no, we knew he was a good player. Um, the scouting report just kind of, he, he likes to go left and he hits open threes. And we had a few defensive breakdowns um, and he capitalized basically every time. I think any time we, we left him open, then he knocked down the shot. So, I mean. You guys with the big advantage on the glass, but only plus three on second chance points. How tough was it in the paint once you did get Corral a rebound around the basket? Yeah, they did a good job in the paint. Um, just making shots tough at the rim. I think, like you said, it was, we were getting the offensive rebounds, but we weren't really, um, we weren't really capitalizing on those opportunities. Yeah. Kobe, you had a, a, a run out there where you had a chance to maybe tie it if you get, get the layup, and there was no, looked like maybe contact. Did you think there should have been contact? The ball went out of bounds? Uh, I mean, it was contact the whole game. I mean, I should have made the layup at the end of the day. So, I mean, I don't, I don't fault the refs on that. How quickly did that sequence change? Because they hit a three, like, right after that then. Uh, so, I mean, it, it, happened real, it happened so fast. I don't know. I just. I should have made the layup at the end of the day. That's funny. Is it Xavier, uh, you know, it seemed like it, it, it took Joe a while to get going, but then once he did, he really got going. Did you guys get a sense that he was heating up and kind of getting more comfortable as the game went on? Uh, I mean, I'd say he was just, he he just made a couple shots uh, in the beginning. Then at the end, he heated up when he, like when he needed to. I mean, I don't really know how to explain it, but he did heat up at the perfect time for him and his teammates, though. But, I mean, like I said before, we just got to complete our defensive assignments. And how different are they with him? I mean, you played him in Columbia without him. I mean, how different are they with him? Uh, As another key player to that team. They already got Mason Jones. They got guys like Desi, uh, Jimmy Witt. I mean, it just adds another key player to their team that they, they've been missing for a long time, just like we have Mark missing and we have JT missing. If they come back, we add two more key pieces to our team. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a blessing to, you know, get those accolades or whatnot. But at the end of the day, we lost, so it doesn't really matter to me as, as it is. So. It's good to have them. Uh, Arkansas's three-point shooting in general, they, they've been struggling 12 out of 25 today. Do you just feel like they, they, they were just kind of on today? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought they, I thought we had a lot of breakdowns that left them pretty wide open with feet set down, and they were make, they were knocking them down with time and space. So we just had to do a better job of running them off the line. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.